What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here for another Super Smash Bros. Ultimate video. Now clones in fighting games aren't the most exciting thing, but it does raise the number of characters and sometimes they come with unique attributes. And raising the number of characters in Smash has never sounded like a bad idea, and Sakurai seems to agree as we now have tons of Echo Fighters, and hopefully we'll get plenty more. So today, I'm going to be going over the top 5 Echo Fighters that I want to see in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And yes, this is a top 5, not a random 5 like the last Smash Bros. video, so I will be counting down to my most wanted Echo Fighter. With all of that said though, let's begin my top 5 most wanted Echo Fighters in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch. Number 5 is Miss Pac-Man, and she's obviously an Echo for Pac-Man. Now, I was honestly surprised that she wasn't even an alternate costume for Pac-Man in Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo 3DS and Wii U. Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man are such an iconic gaming couple that it's kind of weird to not see them together. We need more love in Smash, come on! But overall, Miss Pac-Man could have tons of unique differences in gameplay. She could use some of Pac-Man's custom moves from Super Smash Bros. for 3DS and Wii U, since it appears custom moves aren't coming back this time around. Also, Miss Pac-Man in her own game has 7 fruit instead of 8 like Pac-Man, but 3 of her fruit are different. She has pears, she has bananas, and she has pretzels, which aren't a fruit, but neither are bells and keys, so okay. So overall, Miss Pac-Man would make an excellent Echo Fighter, and if she's not, then Sakurai please at least make her an alt. It would not be that hard, it would be like Olimar and Alf with how similar they are in body type and appearance. Number 4 is Dry Bowser. Now at first, this probably seems like the most boring choice on my entire list. But we do have Echo Fighters that are literally just existing fighters in different outfits, like Dr. Mario or Lucina. I mean, come on, that's clearly Marth with a longer wig. Nice try, Marth, but we all know it's you. You forgot to stuff the chest, buddy. <laughs> that aside though, there's also a surprising amount of potential when it comes to Dry Bowser's attributes due to the fact that he is a skeleton. Since he's nothing but bones, he'd be a lot lighter, and since he's being held together by magic instead of veins and muscle, he could probably reach a lot farther too. Man, imagine a lightweight as big as Bowser. A super lightweight Bowser with a long range. That's definitely unique. But putting his attributes aside, putting aside the fact that he has a super duper cool appearance, the biggest perk to having Dry Bowser as a Bowser Echo is that it will be the closest we will ever get to Sans in Smash. Oh. Number 3 is Glass Joe. Now Aaron Ryan is my favorite Punch-Out character, but I'm saving him for if I do a top 5 most wanted first party characters because I've got some ideas for him. Anyways, Glass Joe. Now at first when it came to different attributes, I was picturing him as a lighter Little Mac, but then I realized Glass Joe is canonically heavier than Little Mac. Now before you freak out and go, oh no, a Little Mac that's actually hard to knock off the stage. Remember that Glass Joe is a weak loser. He's like the Yamcha of Punch-Out, the Dan Habiki of Punch-Out, the me of Punch-Out. Anyways, Glass Joe's record is not impressive. One win, 99 losses. The dude just keeps going. He stands his ground and doesn't surrender. Which is ironic because he's French. But that could play into his attributes. He's a super weak version of Little Mac, but also super stubborn, so he's hard to get off the side. He'd be super annoying to fight, not because he's good, but just because he won't go away. He'd be like that cockroach that can't hurt you and is super easy to hit, but you just can't kill. So yes, number three is Glass Joe. Number two. Is Shadow the Hedgehog, the ultimate life form. You know, I think he'd be really good at edge guarding. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I'm on Team Shadow. I was on Team Knuckles, but he got deconfirmed because he's an assist trophy. Um, but anyways, here on Team Shadow, we want him to be a more unique fighter. But considering just his body type, and the fact that he's a hedgehog, and the fact that he plays just like Sonic in 90% of the games that he's in, he's most likely going to be a complete echo of Sonic with maybe one different move being a Chaos Control Teleport for his recovery instead of Sonic Spring. But Shadow does have a bit more potential, like possibly a different Final Smash using Chaos Blast in his super form instead of just darting back and forth across the screen like Sonic. Overall, Shadow seems like an obvious choice, and there's plenty of hints pointing towards him already, so excited to see if he makes it in. Number one is Akuma from Street Fighter. Not Ken, I want Akuma. 
Hmm. Misfits. Other Akuma noises. Uh... But yeah, personally, I say make Ken an alternate costume for Ryu. Save Akuma for the Echo Fighter position. He could fire multiple Gohadukens at once, his Tatsumaki Zankukyaku could send him upwards a bit instead of just a straight horizontal line, and his Shoryuken could do multiple hits. Plus his focus attack cancel could have him teleport and phase through enemy attacks. Also, we could get a Raging Demon Final Smash. We can't get that with Ken. All you get with Ken are the exact same moves Ryu has, just with a teensy bit of fire. No, Goki can do so much more. You want Goki. Also, he would fit the Heroes vs. Villains theme that Ultimate seems to have. And also, also, my friends are gonna kill me for bringing him up again, but Akuma could also act as a villain for Heihachi if he gets in. A villain for a villain. You'd be killing two birds with one stone. So you want Goki.